one of these days there's going to be a way that we can take all these great aromas and share them with you via the TV. It's just, oh, some of the best I'm having here, having fun with you. We are back with another recipe. Time now for Chef Kenyatta Carter of Kingfish Cafe on Capitol Hill here in Seattle. Pecan bread pudding with bourbon sauce. And I knew I smelled something here. This is good old Kentucky oh, there bourbon it is. whiskey there. I know, keep my we're hands off. We're saving it to last. Okay. okay. All right. It's all about you here, Kenyatta. Might take Kenyatta. a few nips while we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how well, it you goes. you put it in your coffee. Yeah, <laughs> it's good, yeah. All right. So, so how are we going to start on this one? We're going to start with just the uh, sauce first. We're going to melt the butter on low. Okay. Uh, we want it as low as possible because when it gets a little too hot when we add the egg and the sugar, it has a tendency to curdle. Oh, so okay. you want low but just barely warm you could probably cheat and put it in the microwave and finish it there but it, okay. we're going to do it the old-fashioned way old okay. yeah. it, it's got to be butter we can't do margarine on this it, no no we no, go no. Again. yes it, it's always important now okay. is this like a hard sauce yes okay yeah got it. Okay. so yeah it's going to be that kind of creaminess Southern, kind of yeah nice. yeah and um you know maybe after we add the bourbon we, we won't care if it's curdled or not okay. <laughs> Nice. So, uh, when okay. butter's fully melted, we're going to be adding the sugar okay. and one egg. So. And so, does the egg get tempered in, or do you just crack it and whisk it in? I just crack in? it and whisk it okay. in. Okay, perfect. And, just, uh, and then, can you store it? Yeah, you can. You can, like, if you want to do this part ahead of time, you can just pull that out, put it in the refrigerator, uh, put it at, out on the counter maybe an hour before service, and oh, give it a little And whisk. then warm it up. Okay. Right. And All right, great, yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. So, got a little excellent butter. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a nice whisk there. Oh, I do. Awesome. Got one over there too. Okay, great. Well, in the interim, I think okay. we'll have to start the pudding bit. So we have some brioche, day old brioche nice. here. Mm -hmm. But you can mix it up with any bread. I mean, I like to use biscuits in the restaurant. We have, you know, all sorts of kind of different kinds of bread. Okay, any bread will do. But uh, I like brioche because it's so buttery and rich. Well, it looks, it looks good too. <laughs> and did we mention butter? Yeah. <laughs> So we have like a couple of cups of uh, milk there, mm -hmm. and we're just going to add that in. It's about four cups here, and you really want to let that soak in. Ideally, you would do this overnight, but if you have small children, this is actually kind of fun for them. They can kind of get in there mm -hmm. and get it all absorbed, that's, you know, get that sponginess in I there. Think that's and it's just going to sit all night time. like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Am yeah, I you, getting in here? Yeah, you're You can get in there, or you can use a spoon, because I know we're, we're, we're going to have... Uh, you know, spoons and everything out here. Okay, like, butter's family. melted. Butter's like, melted. Okay, so you're going to add the sugar in very quickly. Okay. And you don't want this to brown? No, no, no. Okay. You just want to sort of melt the sugar, you know, just get it in there. Okay. And we're just going to add the, the one egg. Okay. It's amazing Whoa, how fast this is. <laughs> nice. So heat off, so heat down, heat super low. low. Yeah. Okay. And you just want to, you know, keep it on the low. Because you don't want the eggs to cook. Exactly. They're starting to. Yeah. Does that look okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. We'll make it happen. As I this said, really booze absorbs. is a cure-all for this everything. This is really absorbing quickly. Here, yeah. The bread and the, the milk here. Yeah. And yeah. it's okay if it breaks up. It doesn't have to be perfect little chunks or anything like that. Okay. So, how's that okay. coming along? Oh, what do you think? Is that good? Yeah, it's looking so good. So heat off? Or? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Let's give it one more half a minute. Okay. And then we're going to get into the booze part. <laughs> okay. Uh, to this, we're going to add, or actually, we're going to use this other bowl. Go ahead. And... I think everybody's working. This is great. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we're going to add a couple of eggs here. The whole family's getting involved in this one. Yeah, heck yes. <laughs> That's how we do it at my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the best kinds of recipes for everybody. It is. Get. Well, it's when you hear all the family stories and all about the history and yeah. how the kids are doing. I mean, nobody ever has time anymore to hear, you know, how was your day? How was school? Yeah. No, it's like nobody wants to hear it anymore. Yeah, like, tell oh, me okay. something you're not supposed to tell me. <laughs> Guide me. <laughs> so we're adding like two tablespoons of vanilla. Or a good guesstimate. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm gonna make a decision, oh, Chef. Nice. See, that looks, that pretty, looks good. pretty dang right. nice to me. Nice. You make the decision. Little uh, nutmeg. Okay. You choose the story of this bread pudding. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so there aren't a lot of southern restaurants in Seattle. You guys are kind of the oh. only game and one of the only games in town. Yeah, we're a holdout. <laughs> you guys have been there a long time. Definitely. Yeah. And so we're gonna just add this together. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, and you know, it, th th as I said, it doesn't have to be gorgeous, okay. but you, you know, you want something that looks halfway decent there. And then we have some toasted pecans. And, yeah, uh, throw you know, that in there. Just and those start, just get toasted in the oven? Or yeah, you, you can toast them in the oven or, you know, if you're really short on time, uh, a sh uh, saute pan. Okay. You know, just, just to get them a little fragrant. Okay. Okay, so that's all set. So we want to prep our pan. I think you're... That okay. looks gorgeous. So you want it creamy? Yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. So right. at the very end of your sauce, 
and not a minute wow. before, we're gonna add the bourbon. Now you can do this to taste. I don't wanna get crazy, this is a lot. Okay, what if you can't have bourbon? Uh, then you could use an extract, like a rum extract, or okay. you know, um, any other type of, or you can use almond extract, okay. or you know. Uh, you, you can you Ooh, that choose. smells great. So you added a couple of tablespoons? Yeah, I added a few tablespoons. This is just for us. Uh, <laughs> for later. <laughs> and you can just take that off. Okay, the, so off the heat. Off the heat. Beautiful. Okay. And then we're just going to butter our little uh, 13 uh, by 9 inch pan here. Mm -hmm. Once again, another great job for kids is getting their hands in some butter and sure. <laughs> knocking this out. And you're preheating an oven at what temperature? 350. 350. Yeah. So on the bread, I always end up having lots of ends. See, this Could I throw them in the Ziploc and throw them in the freezer and yeah. then do a mix of breads? Would that be okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, any kind of mix of breads would be great. Okay. And also those breads, you know, you could add them to your meatballs. Or, you know, I was Just like, store it. Okay. Yeah, now we're moving on to other recipes. Yeah. I know we're... Dissecting. Well, <laughs> you guys are famous for your fried chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have We've you been, been, Mark? No, and oh, I'm man, love fried chicken, so. I'm insulted. <laughs> uh, see, you gotta go. Now, yeah, so see, amazing. that's why I love the show, oh, because we get the recipe, but we also hear about other things. Oh, so. yeah. Now, I've been frying chicken now for 12 years. I still never get it right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah, this. I keep trying. <laughs> okay. Some days are better than so others. So, into the oven? So, into the oven, uncovered. Okay. And, uh... We'll, no we'll hot water bath? No, no, it's all good. <laughs> You'll know it's done once it starts to brown on top and then it starts to pull away okay, from the pan a little bit. We're ready on the and other it just, one, huh? You know, it just looks done and you'll, it'll still feel obviously less squishy. On the in top. a line, where did you start cooking? Influence. Oh, wow. Well, uh, my parents took me a lot to restaurants and I wasn't a big eater at first. Picky? Picky. And my mom does not cook. <laughs> Okay. So there you go. Like, we love you, mom. Yeah, we, we, I love you so <laughs> much, mom. But uh, let's—that's oh, why I became a professional. Okay. <laughs> that's for oh, the powdered sugar. Oh, it's for the sauce. Yeah, and the, yeah, the powdered sugar. Oh, cool. So we're okay. gonna do that. So let's see. We're gonna garnish. Garnish this. Okay, plate. we're gonna plate this up. Okay. All right. Ready for that? Okay. I think so. So I'm gonna go kind of. Now you can do this a, a couple of different ways. I like to do like a lit, like a couple of um, planks. Mm -hmm. You know to get it. Oh, and did you let that sit in a normal situation to cool down a bit? Cool no, right no, you want to go kind of right away with right this. Away. It always seems a little bit better that way. Now, of course, you can always add your own types of garnish. I like oh, sometimes pretty. a little whipped cream yeah. or, uh, you know, any kind of, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm going to give this some strawberries, some powdered sugar. You know. Okay. Uh, okay, so then here's... Here's where we get the lovely little drizzle of oh. sauce over the top. I mean, you can smell that bourbon. Shame I'm on getting you. drunk right now. Shame on you. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. But it's in the recipe. But it's in the recipe. It's It's, good. it's all good. Mm -hmm. So uh, then we just add a little bit of, oh, let's just do a little cinnamon as no. a garnish. Mom and Dad watching Pretty. at home. This is okay for the children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, you know, you go Cause liquor cooks, you crazy know. with the powdered sugar. Go crazy. Beautiful. We can, we can do it all. <laughs> yes. That looks great. Okay, now I think you better get your spoons ready. Is that it? I think we're diving in. Nice. <laughs> Look at this okay. I'm going for a fork on this one. <laughs> now, I guess we're going to plate, plate, plate and plates. Plate and oh. plates. Yeah. yeah. We'll eat some out of here. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to go straight to the pan. We don't, don't want to mess up the pan. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> okay, let's do it's all some about of this. the presentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Here, I got another little This is very here. old school. Now, who hasn't eaten right over the stove? <laughs> right. Oh, you don't mind? Can we do that? Yeah. We're all I right some of that here sauce. Oh. I know, yeah. Let's get back onto this. <laughs> nice. There we go. Sauce. Yes. We gotta have the sauce. Now, we gotta have the sauce. Okay. <laughs> and we'll do it again so it looks even prettier. Perfect. <laughs> All right. All right. Powdered sugar. Nice. Powdered sugar. I watched it very carefully. Very good. I'm wow. be generous. Oh, my God. That's how it's that's done. Awesome. Uh, yeah. And don't forget this. Ah, I live. There we go. <laughs> All right. Nice. See the laughter and the fun? Here we go, Bree. Beautiful. Okay. Don't be shy. Oh. And for you? Okay. You got to test Pecan bread pudding. Ready? All right. Uh-oh. She's got the booze. I got the booze. <laughs> nice. Mm. This is no... Wow. Take a second bite, Mark. Wow. wow. Take that's two. for real. That's good. <laughs> Mark's got a Family will love it. Look at the smiles wow. it creates here. Yeah. Thank nice. you so Thank much you. to Kingfish. Thank you. Good Cafe job. For sharing with us a great recipe here at the pecan bread pudding with Chef Kenyetta Carter. Wow, that is so good. We're coming to We're, We're, We're coming to <laughs> You're supporting KCTS 9.
and cooks. That's why we have these great recipes and wonderful chefs and new friends. 1-800-443-1999 and KCTS9.org. Anytime at your convenience. Okay. Let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you better take that. <laughs>